because that's what you do on YouTube. You look at the five whatevers, top ten whatevers. Man, and then and then it was like uh, part of our show or whatever where we recorded it. All on you and there was no audio with me. So it was like you talking to yourself. It, it hurt my feelings. You'll be featured appropriately this week. Yeah. It was the first time I'd done it, so I only have one camera. I didn't want to be bouncing it back. But you and have back. another camera right there. No, no. I just, I normally have it in the gym. What's this? Okay. This is a... Okay. Dan, we're speaking of the Parker Condit uh, TAC, uh, the AspenClinic.org is website. He's also the program director of the Performance uh, Center, and he's also a Shemedia model for uh, anybody who will hire him. Have you worn the Aspen Strong Shirt in here yet? Well, yeah, I got It's a Lulu medium. It's like a glove. Anyway, you can go to the uh, Performance Center because we're there all the time on a um, regular basis. You have classes in the Performance Center pretty much every day except for Sunday. That's right. We have noon classes every day, a few morning classes, and then Monday through Thursday we have a 5.30 p.m. class. So we try to have something available for everyone depending on what your work schedule is. d is a fan of the noon class. Well, I don't have a choice. It's uh, when I'm eight to 10 classes really don't work for me because I'm here talking to you. Working. Yeah, talking to you. I'd much rather work out in the afternoon versus any time in the morning. That's playing golf time in the afternoon. Well, I don't play golf, so. I think I see too many people and their love-hate relationship with golf. And I'm like, I don't know if that's something I want to get into. It's all love. I'm not buying it. <laughs> and anyone who golfs isn't buying it. No, it's all love. No, we're, we're all trying to make the senior tour, okay? Wait, you're like 35. Why are you thinking about the senior tour? Because I'm practicing <laughs> for that, damn it. So in the Performance Center, we have a lot of leeway in far, as far as like what we can do programming-wise. So if, if you want to compare it in terms of CrossFit, uh, we just train a more complete program, meaning that we do things with rotation, we do a lot of single leg work, we work on a lot of balance. If you look at kind of a broad range of CrossFit workouts, it's pretty much all done in one range of motion, which is the frontal range, which is just lifting things up in front of you. There's not a lot of lateral movement, there's not a lot of rotational work, and there's not a lot of stability and balance work. And then in terms of like a standard hit class, those are kind of limited by time domains. It's gonna be typically a Tabata, um, a one minute interval, or an eight minute interval. I like to be able to work outside that and kind of mix and blend capacities. It just, we have a little bit more leeway to train a more complete program. Yeah, I mean, I got out here, I was like, I gotta do Colorado things. I got a snowboard, I got a mountain bike, I got a road bike, start hiking. And so what do you do? You spend your time in the gym? Yeah, now I just spend my time in the gym. <laughs> that and hanging out get, with my dog. You get paid! You, you don't hike the ball, do you? No. It hurts my feelings. I, I have a snowboard. That's what I say when people ask me about my winter activities. I say, I have a snowboard. I know, you're supposed Clip to do, in supposed and to go. do stuff with it. Yeah. It's the same way I have a, a mountain bike and I have a road bike. I have a mountain bike that I bought 20 years ago and I rode it, I've ridden it maybe eight times. Just not into it. Mine's been hanging from the garage for the last 10 years. They kind of look good when they're hanging up there, right? There are a lot of like fitness fads every year. There's a new thing. I can kind of go back and forth on those two things where I encourage people to try a lot of different things in that you're not going to know what works best for your body unless you try a lot of stuff. But if you're on a program and you're a month in and you're starting to get, get results, I stick with that program. But like a lot of people can be enticed by the idea of something working faster than what they're doing. But if something's working, it's still working and you can't really diminish that fact. Usually like six months is a pretty good time period to, to kind of try things out. So it's always just constantly testing your body and seeing what you respond to. So a lot of it's self-awareness too. Now uh, CrossFit, uh, is that still booming or is that, has that plateaued a bit? I couldn't tell you. You were a CrossFitter. I was, but now I have access to a pretty good gym pretty much whenever I want it, so. Yeah, you have the keys. Yeah. Like to all the locks. Yeah. I love that. So we try to get you to a point where it's challenging, it's gonna get some sort of training effect for your muscles and for your road capacity, but then kind of cut it off right when it's gonna be like too much for you. 
Like we want you to train hard, but not so hard that you can't come in the next day. Do I need can uh, hamstrings or cardio? That's that's the question. I mean, to get a Bay Jackson in an hour, you can't really have any weaknesses as far as muscular or endurance. No, capacity. I want it under an hour. I know. Fifty nine. Yeah. Or better. You kind of need everything. Fifty nine, fifty nine, or better. Which is fast. It is fast. Are you faster in the summer or the winter? Slower in the winter. I, I have more cardio issues in the winter. I feel like it's way easier to go up in the winter. Really? Oh, don't you just kind of go between TAC and Whole Foods and back again? TAC, Whole Foods, TAC, Whole Foods? Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing. A lot of, time, a lot of times throughout the week, I eat at Whole Foods like twice a day. I know. Speaking of Parker Condit, he's a personal trainer in a program. Uh, what would you call it? Director. Program director, program organizer over mm -hmm. at the Performance Center uh, over at TAC in the Roaring Fork Mid Valley. You can check out TAC at theaspenclinic.org. He's also on uh, YouTube. Do you have your own YouTube channel yet? I do. Where's that? Uh, it's called Parker Condit Performance Coach. A uh, bunch of Parker Condit in medium shirts bulging out of his mediums. Pretty much. Yeah, if you got a small shirt and want me to put it on, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Parker Condit, thanks man, appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Theaspenclinic.org. David Box Show. Be right back. There you go, see? Now we're going to have you in there. It's about time. Christina is welcome anytime. Yeah, because our hike is that following Saturday. She can come in anytime. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. See you. Bye, Christina. Bye, Parker. She'll be in two Mondays from now. We'll jam. I'll talk mental health. Well, we'll just talk about your mental health oh, and that'll take up the whole time. <laughs> I don't know if a 20 minute segment's enough for that. So, uh, all right, well, good. We um, Christina dissect me on air. Ooh, now that we're talking about. Now that sounds fun. That's good radio. All right. Okay. Say bye. See ya.